Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a haul from Cult Pens and I initially was going there to get um, the remaining colors of the Inktense pencils. I do own the set of 72, I think it is, and um, the only way I could find to get them in the U.S. was to get the set of 100, which would mean I'm buying 72 pencils over again. So obviously that was an expensive thing to do. So I went ahead and finally found uh, Colt Pens, which I think is in the U.K., and I was able to get, you can see in the bubble wrap there, the uh, new colors, the whole set of new colors, and they are very pretty. And... Um, yeah, Inktense pencils, if you are not familiar with them, are the best of both worlds between color pencil, ink, and watercolors. And so when you color with them, you can color them with them like a color pencil. And then when you activate them, they will dry permanently. So there are lots of techniques you can do. Whereas uh, if you were using watercolor pencil, the pigment would still move around. Um, so I like them a lot. I also picked up one of these food ball um, pens. I like to sketch with these and they are water resistant. So um, you're able to use your different media on those. So I got one of those as a backup. And then I also got, um, there's a free shipping threshold. So I was eyeing these Rosa Gallery watercolors. And so I went ahead and got the botanical set here. And I did make a separate video where I swatched those out. And uh, I'll look at those in a second. Then I've got the Canson um, graduate paper. And I've been wanting to try that. It's like a creamy colored paper. You get, how many sheets do you get? 30, I believe. Uh, 30 A4 size sheets, 220 GSM. So that's for the US 135 pound um, paper. And it's the cream and you can use mixed media on them. But it's to me, it feels nicer than the regular mixed media paper from Canson. So I'm looking forward to trying that with the cream color in there. And then I got two of these... Um, you're going to see here just coming up the sand grain XL um, and you get 40 sheets of those and it's a four size as well 160 GSM but they're great for things like soft pastels and they have a beautiful beautiful texture they do really feel like compacted sand and they're perforated sheets and they're in that ring binder there and you can pull those out so I did get two of those they had a good price on those and I've been wanting to try those. I've seen some good reviews. And so um, to me, pastel paper, I don't buy a lot of that because um, I feel like, I don't know, I just, it doesn't work quite as well for me. I do use it, but it's expensive and I, I do better on um, watercolor paper, to be honest. So um, yeah, so I'm going to try this out and see if this uh, works out really well. So again, I got two of those. So that's a total of eight sheets. And of course you can cut them down if you want to make smaller paintings, uh, which is what I often do. Um, I'm just showing there on some Canson regular watercolor paper that, uh, I, when I'm designing for my digital surface patterns and things, um, I often will do just my motifs on that because it's not like I'm selling the original. Um, all right, so uh, the Rosa Gallery watercolors here, uh, again, this is the botanical set of 20, what is it, 20, 24? No, 28. I believe it's 28. And um, I did end up swatching those out. I have a video coming up, and they are beautiful. I really like them. So this is not the studio line. This is the gallery line, and they have the light fastness ratings and, um, of course, the names. And uh, you can see all the colors there. Of course, it's the botanical set. So you're going to get a lot of obviously natural colors that you would find in plants and flowers. And they are bold and beautiful. And I'm even right now as I'm doing this recording, looking at my dried watercolor card that you get for swatching. And they are still bold. Um, a lot of times with watercolor, they really lighten up when they dry. And these are just very, very pigmented um, I'm really happy with this and um, it's nice also you can buy the individual pans and I'm showing you here the tin you can get them in a cardboard box but uh, this particular set I got was a good price and if you go on cult pens there you can see that 
It comes with that watercolor swatch card, so you can do um, all the spaces there on one side, and you can do something on the other if you want. And yeah, basics like cadmium uh, lemon, uh, cadmium yellow light, um, cadmium orange, turquoise, green, olive green, those kinds of things, um, ultramarine. And uh, in the tin, of course, once you use those up, uh, you've got this great tin with all those different mixing wells. Um, it has quinacridone violet in there, which is one of my favorite purples. Um, and it has this black grape that's really, really pretty. Um, and a sepia and an umber, which are just lovely and perfect, of course, for botanicals, and woods, and things, of, things, things like that. So I'm just pointing out the names on here that you can pull off the top of that. And then on either side, you'll still have stuck to it the light fast rating and the name of the pan so that you can reorder that once you run out. And I thought that was a clever way to package that. So you could just take it off the top, just like I'm showing you here. If I can get it, my hands are, <laughs> they're a little bit sticky, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, certain watercolors are have different sort of surfaces to them but these are these are sort of sticky they rehydrate really really well um, and I almost prefer the stickier kind of I don't know what it is that makes them that way opposed to say like a pre-marketing um, if you've ever seen those little art philosophy ones which I love those too but uh, the surface of them are always a little bit different um, anyways so uh, yeah I don't unpackage all those right now but um that video will be coming up soon as soon as i can edit that and they are some stunning colors um so that was a pleasant surprise you always wonder you hear about the hype but um yeah i think that that was a lovely i'm very happy with that so between that my ganzai tambi and my mailing i think and um my graphite watercolors <laughs> I'm still a little tempted by the Derwent graphite paints, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, maybe we'll get some Christmas gift cards or something, but they are absolutely beautiful. So if you were on the fence about those watercolors, uh, you can get a smaller set too if you just want the basics and then do your own mixing and whatnot. But this has some great, great colors in here like Matter Rose, Opera Rose, Magenta Rose, Violet, Cobalt Blue, Burnt Sienna, Raw Sienna, Yellow real yellow ochre um lots of great colors um flame red and they're just beautiful i don't know they're just very bright and um now i'm opening up my inktense pencils here and i'm showing you my set of 72 i was trying to see if i could fit them under there but it makes it too bulky so i ended up following uh, i'm sure i've got like an empty box or tin of older um, media that I can use but um, <clears throat> however if you have tips and tricks about how you like to store your pencils let me know in the comments below that would be helpful because I am not very organized <laughs> I am in my brain but when it comes to it I have a lot of health issues and it takes a lot of energy I'd rather just use that energy to paint but um, anyway these colors are absolutely amazing and um i do go ahead and swatch those out on some mixed media paper and i did have the names as i was recording this but um you can go ahead and look up you can just google new new ink tents watercolor names but they are beautiful beautiful and a great addition to the set if you already have um the uh other sets and so now I have all the known colors of the pencils, which is nice. <laughs> nice feeling to have a complete set. And they are well worth the money. Um, they're easy to travel with. They're, like I said, you could completely color something in and color as you would a color pencil and then come home and activate it. You can use a, use them at, on a little palette side piece of watercolor like, like you would a palette. You can use it right off the tip like I do with like my Lyra uh, watercolor sticks or a Karen Dosh or something like that. But um, I just, I really like Derwent as a company and I like them. Um, their products are just wonderful. So um, maybe if I think of it, I will type the names out and down below because I did lose that um, voiceover or the vocal part of my video. <laughs> I'll have to get myself a microphone. Never thought I'd say that sentence because <laughs> usually I am not hard to be heard but for some reason with my new editing app that i'm using it's not picking up very well um 
anyway, you can take a look at those beautiful tips there. All right, so just swatching these out, I just made a circle for each one. Um, just because I was curious myself, just always to see. I'll have to go in and do a proper swatching with the name so that I have a reference. I really need to do my whole set again because, to be honest, I can't find my uh, original set swatch. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to do it all again anyways. Um, and often when I'm painting something, I always, and I highly suggest this, always try it out on a separate sheet of paper before you commit to your painting. Because you know how it is. Sometimes the lead just looks differently when it's dry and on the pencil. And when you activate it, it's always beautiful, but it might not be the color that you're looking for. And I like this, these new colors. There are some lighter ones. Um, if you want, there's one that matches my little hoodie there. Um, and there are just some beautiful colors here, as you'll see when I activate them with water. Uh, very, very nice. While I'm swatching these out, I'm um, just letting you know there are a lot of projects in the works. Um, I've just pu published a new poetry book, um, both ebook and print with Amazon and Barnes and Noble, um, a poetry chat book um, called Monster, The Monsters Among Us and Other Poems. So that's new. I'm also publishing um, some paper packs in um, um, through Amazon and Barnes and Noble as well. The paper is a little bit thinner, so it's not like cardstock, um, but I think it's great for making envelopes. I think it's great for making like in junk journals, making lots of little envelopes and things, little tucks and, and uh, stuff like that. I need to get back into doing that. I've just been so busy and um, painting away. <laughs> just, I, there are so many things I do and, you know, of course, you know, you have family responsibilities and everything and my health has just been a struggle but um just trying to get it all done but um I'm just always creating something so it might not always be paper crafting like I would like to but um I'm always painting or doing something and then I sort of vacillate between um doing uh back to paper and journaling and cards and that sort of thing so yeah um so check out, I've got over a thousand videos, check those out, uh, interact with the links there and see what you find. And you can always check out my Etsy shop and my blog. Um, I do in Patreon shop and I sell, um, digital, um, my digital papers that you can find there. And the, with Patreon, it's nice because if you become a supporting paying member per month, you get all of the digital ones for free. So uh, it's a great deal. And I'm always updating that with new paper packs as I finish them. And I've, I've got lots of new art that um, I am doing there. So hopefully you'll check all that out. Thanks for listening to all my rambling. I hope uh, if any of those products interest you that you will um, check those out and let me know how you like them. Thanks so much. Have a great day.